Okay, so... I've been working on a couple of things. Um, one, I have a button to actually make the news bar run when I do the group therapy intro now. Because this is different. I love this music so much. Jesus Christ, I love it so much. Uh, hi. Hello, Warbear and Viv and Hiltzy and Alibeth and Linux Witch, and of course, you know, this fucking guy up here with me. And Karen to the moon. We're going, we're going, we're going to some moons and stuff and things. It's, it's so good. It's so good. You have a moon? I, yeah, I, I got one. I, yeah, it's 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 up there somewhere. Somewhere. I forget exactly where. Some like to show their moons. That's also true, yes. Yes, like um, out of the, the roof of a limo. People sometimes like to show their moons that way. Mm -hmm. That would be a fun way to do it. Um, hi. Welcome in, everyone. So tonight, um, I'm going to keep playing Astroneer. Because uh, I'm still obsessed with it, and I still love it. That's right, limo gazing. Um, <laughs> what a fucking week. Lemon, it's Wednesday. Uh, no, Viv, Viv has had a fucking week, and I think I think a lot of us have just been dealing with thing, some stuff here and there, some more than others. Um, but we need we need a little pick me up tonight. We need something lovely and adorable and sweet and. We're going to do that tonight. We're playing, I'm going to be playing Astroneer some more. Um, and there's something that I've been saving for all of you uh, because I wanted to share it with all of you. Um, to that end, Twitch sent me an email today that said that I am now in the beta for moments. And moments are just a way for me to basically, um, like, uh, mark in a stream when something momentous happens. And then everybody who's here gets to be marked as part of the moment. So I'm very excited about that. Wait, Karen, it's your birthday? Like, Karen, is it legitimately today your birthday? Like, right now? Like, right now? I, listen, listen. R oh my god, it's Karen's birthday. Okay. I think I think that that calls for I think that calls for um, some celebratory confetti and fireworks. Honestly, like happy fucking birthday, Karen! I love you so very much. I hope it is the best birthday yet. Absolutely yes. 100% healthy. 100%. Oh, Warbear, that's right. Yours was three days ago. Happy belated birthday to you as well, Warbear. Um, so, fantastic stuff. Fantastic. Some great birthdays we've got going on this week. Um, also, um, I've been working on some stuff, and I wanted to show you before we get into the game. Uh, but I wanted to show you. So, I've been working on the website. Just some, one, a little bit of usability improvement. So the schedule now actually has a little loading thing when it's loading, so it doesn't look like it's just frozen and not actually loading the calendar. Um, so you can see there's this week's schedule, including Turnip Boy Commits Tax Evasion on uh, on Friday. Um, you do, Warbear, it's true, you do share yours with both Tab and Ayla, uh, who I have also neglected to go to a happy birthday this week, which I'm, I'm behind on, I need to go do that. Um, so, schedule page update. However, the big thing is new store, who dis? So the new store is up. Um, if you would like to order something from the new store, warn me ahead of time. 
just so I can watch it end to end because I haven't had anybody else try to order from it yet, obviously. And I want to make sure everything goes swimmingly. But if you go to zunderscore.tv slash merch or where's it? Door! Door! You can see I've got multiple categories of stuff. Uh, the little teefs, I know. I love the teefs. Um, the bean shirt. This is the very bean shirt that I wear. If you want the bean shirt, Viv, you can now order the bean shirt. Um, there's also loaf stickers. There's Ice Bear waving shirts. There's all kinds of loaf stuff. Oh, look, there's a sleepy loaf. Look at that. There's a sleepy loaf with a little hat and a fishy. And there's a sticker pack. There's loaf mugs. There's a variety loaf mug that has Happy Loaf, Cinnamon Roll, and Nom Nom Loaf. All in the same mug. They also The mugs also come in tall sizes for the regular coffee mugs. So a 15 ounce if you so choose. Um, there's also loaf t-shirts. Uh, there's Esper needs ice. it for everyday hustling. <gasps> Tawny! Tawny! Tawny coming in with the unsolicited duck. Hello, Tawny. It is good to see you, friendo. I have missed you. Um, there's Ice Bear stickers, the Ice Bear waving shirt, and, you know, little things here and there. Also, I haven't put much under the Captain Hopper section, but if you want a sticker of the reverse card, there are now stickers available of the reverse card, if you so desire, with the full detail, including the little tentacle, the crashed ship, the mountains, the sharks, all of it. It's all here. So, there it all is. Hello, Miss Secret. How are you? But yeah, so the new store is still up. If you want the old store, it's still here. You can just go to the, click on the link, and the old store is still here. Uh, I'm going to slowly start migrating things out of the old store and into the new one. There will be a few things that will stay in the old store because I don't have those products available in the new store. Um, but there's going to be a lot of stuff like, again, slowly but surely moving things over. But I wanted to get the new store out so that y'all could start seeing some stuff and getting some of the new stuff like the bean and the loaf and the ice bear merch. So um, very, very... Very excited about all that. Uh, however, um, the thing that we are here to do tonight is we are here to play Astroneer. Um, so I'm very much looking forward to playing Astroneer. I hope you're looking forward. Uh, let's see. Um, so let me... Get it going. There we go. Space and such. And such. It's true. It's true. Um, so, yeah, where's my... Something else I wanted to look at real quick. And Warbear, I saw your message, so. Venex coming soon, maybe? Yes, very maybe. Um, again, that's, I, I, I want to start, because there are Venex in the old shop, I want to start, like, slowly but surely moving things over. The new shop, things are um, it's I have a lot more like low level control over what I can do with the stuff in the shop now, which is great. Plus it sits right on zunderscore.tv, which I love. That was the big thing that I wanted. Um, but that means there's a couple of extra steps up front for every product that I want to add a sit of it. Yeah. Yeah, we we can we can probably make that happen. We can probably make that happen. Um so yeah, that's the that's the thing. I just had to I I've got to get like each thing moved over individually, which I will. It's just going to take some time, so 
Um, but anyway, we're here for this tonight. Um, and I'm looking forward to this because I've, I've been wanting Iceberg to show, steal show as usual. <gasps> Nine. Hi, mom. Also racerback tanks that you can sweat in. Yeah. Yeah. I think we, I think that's also a thing that we can, we can do. Um, hi mom. How are you? Hi, Danielle. Danielle sneaking in here. I seen ya. I seen ya. And anytime, Warbear. Anytime, buddy. Okay. So this is one of my bases. This is kind of the setup that I've been going with. Um... I've been really enjoying this, so I've got on one side, I've got a lot of my basic stuff and things that come from um, the soil centrifuge, and then on the other side, I've got smelted stuff, and then big old battery banks on this back side for power storage, and then a couple of big wind turbines there, solar panels over here, like a solar um, array over here, and there's some stuff in the back here. Thanks, Hiltzy. If you, listen, Hiltzy, if you get to the shipping part and it is, it ends up being too much, you let me know, we can work something out. We'll, we'll figure it out. Um, but thank you. Thank you, thank you. Also, also, Pernt, you were told correct. Hi, Pernt. Um, so yeah. So this is kind of my like my standard base setup now. This one was like a wreck this morning, and I spent a lot of time today um, cleaning it up and getting it all nice and neat and everything, like a couple of my others that I have. So then I got my big old shredder back here in my trade platform where I can send off scrap and get back useful materials. <gasps> ooh, ooh. Um, but yeah. And then over here, there's my ship. And you can see, like, my ship has a lot of storage on it. So I'm carrying around a lot of very useful and semi-unique stuff on it. So um, things like iron, tungsten, copper, titanium, lithium, and zinc. Those are all either mined directly or... Um, uh, <sighs> smelted. Um, for materials that are only found on a couple planets each. Like zinc's only on a couple, hematite that makes iron is only on a couple, etc. Um, it is the least aerodynamic. It is, but it doesn't matter. Huh. Um, so, yeah, it's okay. It's fine. I wouldn't worry about it. Because um, what's fun is, Hiltzy, when you take off... This is this is the fun part. Joop, it just closes all up. It's fine. It's fine. It just it just joops right in there. It's good. Everything's good. Witchcraft science. It's that good science. All right, let's see. There's my landing pad. This is Aatrox. Aatrox is just like a big old gaseous planet. Boop. Ding. Um, there's not a lot of like mineable resources on here other than like organic stuff. Like you can see like there's just all kinds of like living stuff out there um but uh there's not a lot of like mineral resources but Aatrox does have four of the six um atmospheric gases are available so oh I need to start working on the methane again okay that's Oh, I guess I have to take that down. Okay. 
Do I need a refill on the methane up here? No, I... Oh, wait, that... I, I picked up helium, didn't I? Okay. There we go. Argon. Nitrogen. I think argon and nitrogen are the only two that aren't on this planet, which is fine. I mean, I still have plenty. The little green rings will tell you... The green rings around the outside of the canister there tell you what the... Uh, how much you have. And so I have plenty of those. I mean, my my nitrogen is still full other than like the spare that I keep on top. Um, but yeah, this is my this is my little gas planet. And I love it. And it's very good. Got a lot of like self-sustaining power here because there's not a lot of wind and sun that comes through. Um, got a couple of batteries here just because I haven't built out infrastructure yet. This is this is one of my lesser built out bases. Um, this one I'm going to keep this ring formation here though because this is sort of like my laboratory. So gassy, so gassy, very gassy. Um, I should probably get some additional solar in here at some point. I do have that solar. Okay, yeah, sun's out. Starting to recharge the little batteries there. We've got some wind coming in. That's good. The big turbine's going. So, that'll be good. Doot doot. I mean, I am I am refining, or I am capturing methane after all. Wait, 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 wait. Um, okay. So, listen. I love this game. This is basically Minecraft in space. I love it very much. But then, as I was going through like the missions and stuff, I realized there's other stuff that I really love about it now. Um, it's really super fucking cute. And here's what I mean. This is Sylvie. Sylvie is a galastropod. Hi, Sylvie. And you can pet Sylvie. And Sylvie likes to play peekaboo. And, and giggle. Well, it's funny. You should mention that, Hiltzy. I can, I can almost do you that. Sylvie has six friends. This and Slime Rancher. Yeah, War Bear. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Sylvie has six friends. I have found five of Sylvie's friends. Which means Sylvie makes six. There's one left. And that one is here. So I have to go and find shells. So we are going on an adventure tonight, kids. We're going to go find our last little friend. We've got to just kind of wander until we find it. And discarded by spew flowers. So I gotta find spew flowers. Oh, 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 ooh, ooh. I hadn't seen one of those before. That's new to me. Mutant elephant spew flower. Oh, those are spew flowers. Okay, well. Yep. Alright, so we're just gonna... You know, I'm gonna go plant these, these seeds real quick. So that I can start cultivating more of them. They do all have names, Pernt. Every single one of them has a name, yes. Um, so... 
There is, of course, Sylvie, uh, who is native to Silva, uh, an Earth-like planet that you start on. Um, orbiting Silva, it has one moon, DeSoto, and DeSoto's galastropod is named Usagi because it comes from the moon. So there's a Sailor Moon reference in the space game. And that makes me super happy. Like, huge fan of that. Um, there's one named Princess. One's named Bestafar. Uh, no, just Usagi. U-S-A-G-I. Um, it's uh, Sailor Moon. It's her, it's her name in the original Japanese. Oh god. Yeah, fuck you. Ah, oh no, it got me. Oh no. Yes, it means bunny. Yes. Oh boy. Okay, this is Well, this is not ideal. Um, where did I die? Oh boy. Okay. Wait, I have an idea. I have an idea. I need oxygen to last out there to get to my stuff. One of them... Hold on, I gotta look and see. I don't think it's in the... No, I don't think it's in the Astropedia. Okay, let me go look real quick. Because one of them gives me oxygen um, I need to see which one it is. I forget which one it is. Okay. Okay. Hello, baby. Space travel and space engineers Imperium would be more in that vein. Yeah, see, I that's that's my thing is I I appreciate that it's it's cutesy. Like, honestly, a big fan of the cute. Okay, we'll wait for these to grow. Be almost done. I heard a loaferino. There was a loaf. She came to see me. Come on. You're almost there. Boy, how do these things take a while to, to grow? They are pretty big plants, though. I do like that the ones that are like the the aggressive flora, when you take their seeds and plant them, they become harmless. Big, big fan. I married the bean because I like the cute. It's true. All right. All right, so I've got enough oxygen to go out and get my stuff. And let's go get my stuff. Hey, buddy, go outside. <gasps> Is he a Bowser? A little baby Bowser, and he's already barking. Okay. Oh. Well, it's very important, bork bork. He's such a good boy.
Hey, fine. Come back inside. I'm not going out there with you, dude. It's hot outside. Come on. <laughs> you go out there because you need to pee. I don't need to pee out there, so... Okay, got my stuff back. Let's put our terrain tool back together. Uh, Elena says that she's very glad that you don't need to pee out there. That would probably be awkward for the neighbors, honestly. It's not that bad. <laughs> what? Peeing outside by the neighbors? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, Oh, uh, okay. Okay, so since it's going to be really difficult for me to find the shells that I need, I'm going to do something else while I'm doing it. Um, so... Hey, little buddy, what are you? Spine lily? All right, I'll go plant some spine lilies back home, too. Those are defensive flora. They won't attack you, but they will defend themselves, which is fair. You shouldn't be walking through the garden. That would be awkward with a short fence. Yeah, that's true. That's true. All right, let's... Also, I love that every plant produces two seeds. All right, so now I need... Go to the ship. So on every planet slash moon, there's also an old probe that has crashed. So what you do is you take one of these probe scanners and, and you turn this bad boy on. And you go find the probe. Yeah, that's what happens when you walk on one of the spine lilies, so just, you know, congratulations, that's what happens. <gasps> Hi, Breezy. How are you? It's good to see you. Well, it's over that way somewhere. All right, let's, let's just keep going. Those are dagger roots. I don't trust them. Oh boy, that's way out there. All right, let's uh let's keep on rolling. Yeah, this is Buddy, I cannot I can't express enough how much fuck you. So, the air that I have... Oh. Hello. Um, so, I've got about five more minutes of air thanks to Stilgar. Um, and I can feed him again if I want to. But I also have a portable oxygenator that uses power. But I also have a power supply on here. Um, so, it balances out. So, um, I can turn on the portable oxygenator and basically wander around as long as I want. Usually people are running away from the probe. That's 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 an alien probe. This is this is this is a friendly probe. It's a probe with consent. Yes. And then I'll just put another seed up there for, for the baby to eat. And we can just... Yeah, 
so still getting oxygen and I'll have I'll have plenty of oxygen for a while like that's weird looking but I'm into it Oh, God, again? God. This planet is angy. Like hella. All right, let's go. You know what? I'll take the three. I'm not, I'm, you know, I'm not even going to argue with it. Hello, little baby. I got you, babe. Listen, listen here, buddy. Babe. Don't judge me, food. Okay, now. Oh, I died way out there. I gotta go there. Elena has been... She's been hella busy with work, Breezy. She's been... She's been very, very busy. Good stuff, but very busy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, Bean, you can give hugs to your best friend, Viv. Just thought you should know. Hmm. Yeah. Lots and lots of work. But it's good. I'm glad we got to talk some today, too. That was nice. We haven't talked in a while. Zoop. God, I hate those things. They're so angry. Is that me? There I am. Let's see. Let's put this and this and this. And put this baby down here. Door. There we go. And that's that. Okay. Am I still tracking the one mission? No. Okay. I am now. Okay. Boy, those few flowers don't fuck around. Wait, wait. That's a shell. That was a shell. Okay, I got one. There's another spew flower over here. There's a mod for Stray that turns the cat into Garfield. I've seen a lot of people modding like the, the character model for the cat to look like their cat, which I think is incredible. Honestly. Okay, and someone someone owns Garfield. That's true. That's I'm sure. True. Yeah, well, I mean, John, Ar John Arbuckle owns Garfield. <gasps> oh, 
There are two in there. Okay. I only need one more shell, which is fantastic. Then I can just go get the activate the probe. And then there. An Elliot version complete with Elliot Scrim. Listen, I'm sure, I'm sure that is doable. I mean, you have a dedicated meow button. It could just replace his meow button with a scrim button. That's, yeah, he's not wrong. Thanks, fine lily. Well, no, but I'm sure for the right price, you could find someone who can do it for you. What is this? Extenders broken. Wait, that's a, that's a working turbine. Huh. Bean, is it the best kitty? I love her. She's the best kitty. Okay, is it me? Or does that look like a weird, like, dude in the distance going, hi, with his arm up? Your cat's breath smells like cat food. I mean, honestly, yeah. Yeah, Loaf Loaf also has a little sneaky You trying to tell me that the snozzberries taste like snozzberries? Maybe. What is, what in the hell is this generation over here? This generated like this? Same breezy, same. All right, well, let's just just keep going. This is why weird. What in the f fuck? Why did it generate so weird? Hm. Fritz, thanks for the lurk, buddy. I appreciate you. Um, well, it's still that way. Okay. Hello, spine lilies. Hello, spine lilies. Now here's what we're going to do. Because I don't have to use my oxygenator. I don't have to switch power between it and the drill. Alright. find our way home and we will hope that the next leap is the leap home yeah this week I don't know about the rest of you but this week I am just not into it It sure is hazy up here. Oh man, we're getting close. And it's just up here, it looks like.
Good lord. Don't look down, kids. It's a doozy. Like, look at the way this world generated. What the fuck? What is this? Who generates a planet this way, honestly? Alright, let's do this. We're gonna... Trek, I'm looking down. Ah! That'll do, donkey. That'll do. Oh, only Gene Wilder knew. Yeah, yeah. They didn't tell like the rest of the the cast what was actually going on. There it is. There's the probe. So now we attach the probe scanner. And this. See? This is the Sputnik satellite. So it's actually like legit human probe. Like, look, it even looks like it. Like it's Sputnik right there. Alright, now. Now we get to do the fun part, which is working our way back. bridge that I made. Nice. Okay. Ice bear is ready to Tokyo drift. <gasps> Breezy, thank you for the biddies. Woo! That was a drift. All right, let's see. Did I hear the loaf? I thought I heard the loaf. She's the best loaf. Who has ever loafed? Okay, let's see. I gotta get around here somewhere. Uh, this should be okay. Alright. New. Oh, no, 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 you fuck off. You can fuck right off. Thank you. Hey, this is that, uh, wreck I found earlier. Good. Look how, look at the glow. Look at, look at how glowy it is. Look at pretty. So pretty. All right, now we're back on the not so dangerous terrain. I just gotta find one more of those spew flowers that has a shell in it. All I need is the one. And then we will have enough of the shells, which I'm hella looking forward to having all of. Like, I cannot wait for y'all to see this. This is just the absolute best thing in any video game probably ever. Okay, I don't know about that, but it's really, really fucking cute. Oh, hey, I can just bring the battery with me. You gonna charge up that battery? Thank you. Someone wanted Doom to have the cat from Stray to be a Doom guy? Oh my god, that's... Okay. I could that's see adorable. The, I could see the cat being Doom guy, yeah. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Goodbye. Yeah. 
Oh, oh, there's one. There's one. This is my sense get you like four packs of ramen. Now I think it get you like one. Yeah. Money don't go like it used to, that's for sure. Aw. There weren't any shells in that one. Alright, I need one with shells. God, I like this planet is just a death trap, but I love it. Like there's something weirdly beautiful about it to me. Alright, we got that spew flower. Wander out here a little bit. Oh, no, no. Uh-uh. No, no. Ow. God. It would be great if those things could just fuck off forever. No one likes you things. Alright, there's... There's the base. I'm just gonna wander around a little bit and try to find one more of those spew flowers. And spew flower, red thorns. This would be so much easier if I wasn't colorblind. Blue flower, red thorn. Blue flower, red thorn. Oh. Well, how about everybody else? How's everybody else's week been? Like I said, I know some of us have, have had some ups, some of us have had some downs, but I hope everybody's doing okay at least. Just ready for a nap, personally. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Viv, I know, buddy. I know. What are ups? Listen. Listen, you will find your ups. Believe you me. If anybody deserves them, you do, buddy. Okay, that's it. That's it. That's the last... That's the last one. Actually, I have these back at this. Yeah, okay. So now we make a beeline back to the base. Because I hope y'all are ready for the good part. Um, I know, buddy. I. It's just... I know. I don't, I honestly don't know what to say. Um, other than I, I believe they are, I fully believe they are coming. And you, again, few people deserve them more than you do, especially right now. And I love you. That's it. That's what I got. Okay, let's plant some other shit here. Those are the spew flowers. Let's plant the angry boys. Um, okay, it's time to make the cutes. Well, funny you mentioned that, Breezy. Well, look at this. It's an empty terrarium. Alright, so. The terrarium requires three things. It requires soil, a resource from the planet, and a seed. 
that the particular um, little baby likes. So I need helium and a spine lily seed. Well, I just happen to have both. All right, so let's get some helium. Oh, perfect. Isn't that just, isn't that just precious? Oh, nitrogen is on this planet. Oh. Alright, so let's see. Uh, I put the terrarium. Where, did, where the hell did I put the terrarium? Oh, it's right there. All right, so I filled it with soil. Now I fill it with helium. I'm gonna put this baby out. And just, you can hang out there with your friends. Sylvie's over there. Say hi to Sylvie. I hang out with Sylvie. That's, that's, I, th I think so too, Allie Beth. I think so too. All right, and I need a spine release. See, what is this? Oh my God, do I happen to have one? Okay. Well, mm. <sighs> are y'all ready for the cutes? I don't think you are. Wait. I don't think you are. Yep, Viv, I think that's honestly, I think that's a fantastic idea. All right. I'm very soft this week. Thank you, Waves. Now, it wants me to dance. So if I try to do something like wave at it, he says, uh-uh. A little giggle and I got an achievement for dancing on every planet now here it comes here it comes hi little Bryn shits about you right now. Hello, buddy. Okay, are you ready? Do it. The 
This is Inoki. While carried in the backpack, it increases jump height, sprint speed, and reduces movement penalty for carrying heavy items. Look, look at him. My God. Yeah, it sure is pert. All right, so now it's so flopsy. It's just a flopsy little baby. Fuck you, thing. I'm feeding you to the to the baby. Oh my god. Good lord. Well, I like that. That yeah, you right? Viv, right? All right, now we have all seven of them. Now I have to bring the last one that I got and this one to the lab for verification. So. Yeah, we got a we got a backpack full of little critters. Here we go. My parents out with their bills and food and whatnot. I'm gonna get an order. At least it can count at work. Where are you? There you are. No? Where's the... You back... Th oh, there it is. Oh, it's closer than I thought. Okay. Now, we come back to home base. Home base is going to come around here on the right. There it is. I mean... Breezy, far be it for me to tell anyone how to live their lives. But, you know, sometimes you gotta fight for the, sh the shit that you deserve. Oh, hey, there's Princess. Yeah, you gotta fight for your right. Hey, I know that kid. I know that kid. Star Wars kid fan. What are you doing? Other than changing my light colors. I seen ya. I seen ya. So bright. Okay, you can come with me. So Princess prevents all forms of damage aside from suffocation. Inoki will increase jump height, sprint speed, and reduce movement penalties for carrying heavy items. Sylvie lights up the place. Bestafar uh, improves the uh, the terrain tool while it's attached to the terrain tool. Uh, Stilgar produces oxygen, so I didn't have so I don't have to have my portable oxygenator running after I feed it. And then there's a couple more. Let's see. All right, let's start unloading the babies. Sylvie. Dilgar. I love this game. Star Wars Kid Fan. This is what I have been obsessed with 
since like the last update came out that added the trains. Obsessed with it. It's so, so good. Fixing server stuff, been neglecting a lot of maintenance as of late. Yeah, you, listen. If you don't schedule maintenance time for your equipment, your equipment will schedule maintenance for you. I didn't have Rogo. Princess I had. Oh, wait, no, I think. No, I did have Stilgar with me. Usagi is who I don't have. All right, let's go over here. The other four should be over here still. I mean, it's true though. Stilgar, Rogo, and Usagi. Hey, Usagi, hello. Usagi likes to rock out. Because she's from a moon, you see. And then Princess. Princess is just a sweet baby. And just likes to be cute, baby. Snuggle, snuggle, snuggle. Snuggle, 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 snuggle. Alright. So now... I have to... Uh... Have the Xenobiology Lab here scan both Bestafar and Inoki. You can't snuggle them, but you can pet them. They stay inside of their terrariums. Oop. Sorry, little buddy. Yeah. Okay. How's okay. our buddy? You just went out. And now, and then, and then he barked at me when I let him outside, and then he came back in. Oh. All right, all right. Are you ready? Are you all ready for the best part? This is that wasn't even the best part. All right, we're going to do this in a we're going to do this in Chaos Emerald order. And what I mean by that is in Sonic the Hedgehog, the Chaos Emeralds, at least in the the classic Genesis titles, when you got them, they would display from like center out. And um I want to do that cuz it just feels like the right thing to do. Um, we're scanning them just to understand them, just to understand like the life, like the, the, they're the only animal life that we've come across. So the Xenobiology Lab wreckage here um, started work on just learning about them. So we scan them to learn more about them and their biology and stuff. All right, we're going to start with Sylvie. And Sylvie is going to go first. Then we go to... Usagi, who will go immediately to Sylvie's left. Then to Stilgar, who will go to the right here. You took them from the environment they grew up in and put them in a jar. Well, we couldn't find them in the environment, so we built them in an environment that mimicked and had all the, the properties and resources and food that they're used to so that we could put them in a, an environment that they're familiar with. So that we could study them. Because we can't find them anywhere else. We had to build the environment out to draw them out. All we found were shells. These are the only living specimens that we know about. Okay, Rogel will go up here. Bestafar will go over here. Oh man, oh man.
sing together. Heck it up, we're never topping that. We've peaked. That's it. There you go. Congratulations, folks. That is the first moment we've ever been able to capture on the channel, and I don't I don't even know what to do about it now. I'm I just... know what to do. How did it know? Like it knew. <laughs> like how did it know? It it fucking knew. Look, look, you can do it again. You can do it again. I'm too soft for this this week. Bean, are you watching this? I cannot deal. I cannot deal. Okay, so that was the cute thing. That was the really, really, really cute thing. This is a mature party. Oh my god. No! Hi, paintbrush. Oh, paintbrush, how are you, friendo? Ah, uh, so Star Wars Kid fan, the moment is um, whenever, like, the community shares some momentous occasion together. Um, Twitch has a new feature called Moments where um, you basically, like, it clips it and you earn a badge for being there that says you were part of this particular moment on the channel. Um, and um, it, like, it gives you um, just sort of like that, sort of a feeling that's like, hey, I, I was part of this thing. You know, I was, I was there. And I just... I love that that's a thing now, and I just got access to it today. It's still in beta. Um, I I mark it as a moment. 
I do. Um, I actually click a button to say, hey, mark this moment. Uh, like as a streamer, I'm like, this is this is a moment. And I like I was going to do this tonight anyway. And then like, I don't know, what, like two hours before stream, I got the email from Twitch that's like, hey, by the way, you you have access to moments now. You can uh, do no do moments on your channel. And so I'm like, all right, done. First moment in the books right here. This is it. This is it. Paintbrush, how are you, friendo? What were you doing tonight? Were you playing some Slime Rancher? Were you doing cute stuff, too? We were just talking about that earlier. Warbear was saying something about it, I think. So here it all is. Oh. So apparently the original researcher who was studying them didn't, something happened. Evolutionary gal galastropod physiology is known to hijack a neurological response in the orbital frontal cortex of other beings, ensuring the core and survival of the species. In response to the interaction of food given to them, galastropods provide their protectors with temporary positive effects and influences. There it is. And there's each one. <laughs> Inoki, an easygoing companion with exactly one brain cell who will lift your spirits when well fed. That's loaf. That's Loaf. Loaf has one brain cell, and I love her. She's the best. Loafacini Alfredo. Loafacini Alfredo may be one of the greatest things you've ever come up with. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Should we? Should we do it again? Should we? Should we have them sing one more time? Do we do Third it? Third time's a charm. Do yeah. It. Okay. Fuck it. We're doing it. We're doing it again, folks. We're done here. We're done here. God, what else is there even to do in this? Like, what else can you do in this game? How how can you make that any better? You don't. You don't. The, the game's done. We're, we're done. <sighs> we are done. There is literally nothing else that can be done in this game. It is just that's it. We've done all of we've done everything we can do. Oh. You like it's it's that's it. That's everything. Lights off. That's it. Lights out. Go home. Bye everybody. Oh man. Finish the game, wrap it up. Oh. Can we bring back Nintendogs? Oh, I never got to play Nintendogs. But 
I would love to do that. Let's see. I need... I'll grab a nitrogen to refill. Yeah. I got... I just got... Oh, that's fine. I got all the nitrogen. Legally distinct Japanese company animal game. Yeah. Something like that. Oh, man. I gotta clean up this base. This base is the one that's an absolute just wreck. This is the first one, though. You know how it is. Oh, my God. They are called Galastropods, Karen. Uh, it's a it's a portmanteau of galactic and gastropods. <laughs> oh. Okay. Well, now that we've seen the cutest thing that a video game has ever had in it, let's go blow some shit up. Here, I'll put it in chat and... There you go. That way you can, if you, you know, for some reason want to go and they find the, the, uh, yeah. All right. We have, where do we need to go? I need more hydrogen, hydrazine first. Let's see. Sure, man. I didn't mean to do that, but. Uh, where's the chemistry lab? Oh, man. Fine, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm not fine, but I'm fine. I've got cookies. You got cookies from from whence? Uh, the oven. Ooh, what kind? Chalk chip. Love me a chalky chip. Love me a chalky chip. Just quality stuff. All right, now I need more. I need more dirt. I need some dirt over here. Always need more dirt. Dirt, Joe Dierte. Oh. Okay. Well, that was. And listen, you bet your ass that's going to be the last thing that we do tonight. Is we're going to go back and do it again. If you don't think we're going to do it again, yeah, fuck you, we're doing it again. Alright, that's perfect. That's all I need. Oh, man. Ooh. Uh, I should just put that in there. Grab this and put it back, and then... I just, I don't even know where to go from, from here. Don't even know. Hey, the lights are back. For now. For, fair, fair. <laughs> For now, he says, mouth full of chocolate chip <laughs> cookie. <laughs> A 
Lockhart, why are you why are you telling people that I'm gonna do the Ocarina of Time randomizer for Retro Night? And why are you telling people that? Um, I said I was trying to get get you to do the uh, Super Metroid Link to the Past randomizer. I would do an Ocarina of Time randomizer in a heartbeat with you, though. I know you would, buddy. I know you would. Uh, all right, let's see. All right, we got more fuel. We got some stuff. Uh, what's on the ship here? I got three more probes to go find. And some shit to blow up. I honestly wouldn't mind doing an Ocarina of Time randomizer for Retro Night one time. I would, I'd do it. All right, let's do a multiplayer. Do multiplayer, really simple settings, so you can get it done in a in a few hours. No, oh, yeah, that's want. true. That's true. Fritz, you should finish Ocarina of Time. I liked it. I I I like it's still to this day my favorite Zelda game, um, just because I, you know, kind of grew up with it. Um, but Viv, you go do some sleep, buddy. I love you so very much. I hope you get all the good sleepy sleeps, and I look forward to talking to you tomorrow, buddy. If you've never played a Zelda game, yes, Ocarina of Time is actually a great one to start with. Um, it's challenging, but it's not, like, impossibly hard like, um, uh, like the original can be. Um, it's got great story to it it's a classic it is one of the best stories in a zelda game um the gameplay is mostly really good there it has its moments where it's not like perfect but you know it's also it's a it was it was basically version one uh and what what they didn't um, do as well in Ocarina of Time. They did make up for Like, I, I didn't play a whole lot of Majora's Mask just because it is fucking stupid hard. Karen, that's fantastic. Let's... I can't wait to cry again. Come here. There we go. All right. Okay. Tracing the transmission. Find the map and slot an exo chip in it. All right. There's my compass. It's back that away. Uh. That you know what that's Karen, I'm I'm just happy that you got it. What are Zelda games even like? So they are they are classic role playing games. Um, you play as a single protagonist link, um, and you're basically saving the kingdom of Hyrule, um, in one form or another. Um there are like fucking what, like fifteen games? at this point um and but you you are linked through the ages um saving the kingdom of hyrule uh typically ganon or ganondorf uh, depending on kind of what form he's in at the time um he is the primary antagonist of the series and he is basically looking to rule the entire kingdom um that depends on him having the uh, the Triforce 
the Triforce is a, it's the three triangles that you've seen, the three golden triangles. There's a Triforce of power, wisdom, and courage. Um, anyone who holds all three pieces of the Triforce, whatever they want will come to pass. Whatever they want will come, you know, will come true. Um, so if someone evil like Ganon gets his hands on it, then, you know, the land will fall into ruin and desolation, etc. Um, but yeah, that's you basically just going through and each game has like different like things that you have to do to try and save the kingdom. Um, but the, the outcome is the same. Yes, Zelda is the princess. Link is the character that you play as. Breath of the Wild, Majora's Mask, Ocarina of Time, Zelda 1, Wind Waker, Link to the Past, Zelda 2. Um, okay, so... First of all, Star Wars Kid Fan is coming in hot with opinions. Okay. Uh, second of all... Um, uh, Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time, it's... It, that's basically like they're basically neck and neck like you could you, you can go back and forth on them because you if you like one you will love the other um but for different reasons um for example i like majora's mask haven't played a whole lot of it and i'm not great at it <laughs> will excuse me princess um, I think she did. Yeah, Pink, I think she did. Um, but, um, I, I just like Ocarina of Time because, like, the, the, to me, the story is more, like, in line with the, the, the classic, um, like, lore. Majora's Mask is, like I said, they improved some of the mechanics in Majora's Mask, and it's different. It's a different Zelda game. Um, because you're not saving Hyrule, you're saving this town. It's, 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 essentially it's the, the sequel to, to Ocarina of Time. Like, you're, you're, you, you are this kid Link and you finish saving Hyrule and you're like, okay, and you're wandering along and then suddenly you get basically like kidnapped and fucked up by this kid this skull kid and you end steals up your ride huh steals your ride he steals your ride yep yep and so you have to go and um one get yourself out of this bind because you're stuck in this mask that has transformed you and two um you have to go and um uh save this town which this kid that has fucked you over uh, is drawing the moon using the power of the mask that he has stolen, drawing the moon towards this town. You have three in-game days to save the town. Now, granted, there are things that you can do, like you can back time up, you can slow time down, you can speed time up if you need to for certain things, but most of what you do in that time resets when you go back, when you like take time, like you, you, you go backwards in time. So you have to remember a lot of the things that you did and then go back and redo the shit and fix things all over again, just remembering what you did. Certain things will stay. Except your bank account. Except your bank account. Certain <laughs> things will stay, like your rupee count and like the masks that you have retrieved that you've like, that you've, you know, that you've unlocked essentially um, that let you transform into different other things um, those you get to keep but most of the rest of it, it it resets and you have to go back and do it over again so it's like this race to try to alright go around the town do all these things and then get to the final battle on the fucking moon okay I need copper, zinc plastic and aluminum alloy I can do that.
it's Majora's Mask is complicated. It is. Again, great game, very complicated, very different uh, kind of Zelda game. Mechanics are similar, but still not like classic Zelda storyline. More importantly, if you just pay attention to what's going on around you most of the time, that game is fucking dark. It is. It is. Like, the whole town is... Like, this whole town, this whole clock town is fucked. It's so fucked. Listen, no, Pern, first of all, no, no, you're not. Shut the fuck up. Second of all, you you can absolutely follow it. It's just a matter of, like... Just the like start off start off with like a, a classic title like start off with something that follows the like the the main storyline start off with Ocarina of Time it's great um, uh, Wind Waker Wind Waker is a great one to start with too uh, if you want to start with something a little different Wind Waker still follows the main storyline and arguably is like for its place in the timeline it's where everything kind of comes together. Um, so you just like it because you get to be a pirate, basically. First of all, you don't get to be a pirate. You hang out with pirates. You get a boat. You shoot cannons. You plunder treasure. You're just in a green tunic when you do it. You're a pi you're pirate Link. <laughs> it is pretty great to be pirate Link. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Listen, the whole the in Wind Waker, most of the world is underwater. It's just you traveling from island to island via boat, which is fantastic. Uh, Majora's Mask is kind of like a Souls game. Yes, yes. I've never thought about it that way before, but yes, it is. It is very much kind of like a Souls game. Well, I never. I really have never thought of that before, but it's true. All right, let's. Majora's Mask is my favorite out of all of them, for it sure. Is. It is. It's definitely Lolly's favorite. He he replays the shit out of it. Now he'll play it with randomizers, so you know items and shit are just all over the place. But yeah. Yeah, Majora's Mask randomizer is off the fucking rails now because they like there's so many settings you have to look at. First of all, per no, you're not. So, yeah, the talking boat. The talking boat is just the best. Listen, okay, so the boat, so the boat is called the King of Red Lions, and it's essentially like it, it oh, I need a, fuck, I need a uh, chemistry lab. What do I need for a chemistry lab? Small, medium printer, what do I need for a chemistry lab? A tungsten, a glass, and a ceramic. That's all zinc. I don't need zinc. For fuck's sake. I don't even have a goddamn chemistry lab on this moon. That just sounds like your problem. Well, it has become my problem, yes. Uh, all right, we're gonna do a couple of things here first. Bre Breath of the Wild is very different. Like, there's still puzzles in it, but you are presented the puzzles very differently. And the overworld and the way the game handles your weaponry and stuff is yeah. very different. Yeah, it's true. So, it's it is. Still a good game to play, but it the hot take, it has more in line with the original Zelda than any more any other modern Zelda game, just because like the original Zelda is a game where you're just plopped in the world and you're said, Hey, go explore. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. So there you go. Like that's That's true. That's about it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, what do I need again? I need ceramic glass, and what was the third one? Tungsten? Tungsten. Well, I got tungsten. Okay. Now 
Now I need ceramic and glass, which means I need... What would you need? What, how would you randomize Breath of the Wild? What are you... The only I thing mean... I could think of that you would need to randomize is the... Slate abilities. That's it. Yeah, because it, like, isn't the rest of the game basically like, all right, go get a bunch of stuff, and then when, whenever you feel like you're ready, go fight Ganon. Basically, yeah. Like, I don't know. There's nothing mandatory other than getting those, and the only reason those are mandatory is because the game, without glitches, kind of just keeps you on the tutorial peninsula until you get them. So it's like, what I don't know what that is why you would need that unless it's just you get randomized loadouts but that that's less appealing to me because like I've looked at wanting to do like Resident Evil randomizers and stuff like that but at this that is okay so it just randomizes the collect-a-thon that that doesn't seem as appealing to me because like it's it's a weird thing it's like even with like resident evil randomizers resident evil is like just um just linear enough that it's like i don't know how much i would enjoy a randomizer of it because then that just means your weapons are are randomized It's true, Fritz. They do they do take their sweet time, but when they release it, for the most part, it is pretty fantastic. Do I not get any wind on this planet? Wind low. Yeah, well... Alright, and now I need a couple of these. Come on. There we go. Okay, breezy, but like. Breezy, so do I. More cookies. Oh, I love cookies. Breezy, group therapy night. Don't don't tell the other don't tell the other nights, but group therapy is my favorite. It's where we just like. It's like our spot to just talk about any and everything. Like, we do that anyway. We do, and I try to make it to where we can talk about whatever we want, whenever we want, but group therapy is really, truly the night where we can come in and sit down and be like, you know what? Life sucks, or life is okay, and here's why. Oh, she wants you to play Breath of the Wild multiplayer with her when it comes out. Oh my god. If you get two more people from work, it becomes four developer adventure. <laughs> Listen, I just yesterday figured out how to <laughs> legally dump my own robs mm -hmm. and play them on an emulator for the Wii U. <laughs> mm -hmm. Cough, cough. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, what do I I still need? have to remind myself that like the Wii, the Wii U, those generations are like considered vintage now at this point to an extent, so like Emulating them is not actually that bad and yeah. doable by modern hardware. Though emulating Nintendo 64 is still weird. N emulating a Nintendo 64, I feel like, will always be weird. Like, that... That machine is just a weird machine. 
Well, yeah, all the switch the switch is just an is is an ARM based Linux box. That's all it is. Mm -hmm. Like, what's the besides besides horsepower, and the shit on top, the switch and the Steam Deck aren't really that different. The Steam Deck is just a more it's just a hardier one with different OS components on and custom software on top. Probably why Switch games run so well on the deck. Probably. Probably. Alright, now we need a compound. Oh, I need two compound. Well, I should have done that. Which by the way yeah they do make they do make it so that if you want you can uh for you can set up custom uh controller bindings for your for your steam deck controller mm -hmm. to make it so that when you're holding down a button it swaps inputs and such on top of whatever the current binding is so what they did for Jet Force Gemini, because I don't know if you remember how that how that game worked, but you had your normal running around with the control stick, mm -hmm. but then you can hold down R, and it would bring up your aiming, kind of like how you would in Goldeneye. Yeah. And then your control stick would um, be aiming, and then you could use the C buttons to still move around. So what they did what this input does is it makes it so that when you're holding down the right shoulder button, not only are you manually aiming, but it, um, it, the control sticks and it flips them. Oh, and it normally well, has neat. the C buttons bound to the right stick, yeah. but it flips them so that your the C stick is now on the left and your movement is on the right while you're holding down that button only so now you're aiming with the right stick making it more like a modern shooter plus it has gyro oh that's pretty cool so jet force gemini is actually a pretty good shooter <laughs> <laughs> on the steam deck no, i mean that's a game i need rare to to get going again yeah just that whole series. Uh, I don't even care if they port it. Well, I think it's just the j one game, right? Is it? I thought there were a couple. Okay, so I have two plastics. Two zincs and two coppers. Which I need two plastics, two zincs, two coppers. Okay. Alright, so let's head back to the mat with the stuff that I have right now. I get. Mm, Wait. Mm. It was part of Rare Replay? No. Is it? No. Is it really? I mean, Snake, Rattle, and Roll is in there, so I, anything's possible. That would mean it's on cloud, right? I think Rare Replay is on cloud, I think. Did I get the aluminum out? I thought I did. Did I put it back? No. It's it's around here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Alright, and I need aluminum alloy. Okay. Okay. Oh my god.
we go. Okay. Two aluminum alloy, two zinc, two copper, two plastic. Two copper, two zinc, two plastic, two aluminum alloy. Okay. Eh, yeah, stop it. Hey, what did I just tell you? Thank you. Okay. Now we can go up here. Do the mat. Put all of the ingredients in that it wants in this shot. So that we don't have to make too many trips. No, there's some stuff in here. And yeah, we're going to loot that in a minute, too. Alright. Zinc. Zinc. Copper. Copper. Plastic. Plastic. Aluminum alloy. Aluminum alloy. Okay. Alright, well. Gonna blow some more shit up. Oh. Oh, nope. Nope. There it goes. Boom! Rouge. Yay! Hooray! Okay, so let's check the mission log. Okay. Did that. Did that. No! We're about to go do that. Set you down for a minute. Let's see if we got anything in the main pot over here. Ooh, okay. Hot damn you all, I swear. What do we got up here? We got tungsten, an exo chip, a solar panel. debris a nice big technological research item and this generator I found the research item I'm not as concerned about because I have a hundred and thirteen and counting thousand bytes I don't think I'm gonna need all of that I don't think I am that's a lot of bytes courtesy of Ray Palmer no, oh, those are nanites, buddy. You're, that's the that's the other space game that I play. Legally distinct space adventure. Yes, legally distinct space survival and crafting game. All right. Here's a new generator. Ah, no! Why would you do that? Okay. Let's put this here. This here. Yeah, I'm gonna move that down one just so it's easier to see all that. Did I do the probe on this planet? On this moon, whatever? Also, let's take that solar and put it here. That seems like a much better place for it. Let's put this little guy over here. Beautiful. Put 
There is one on this on this moon. All right, well, I'm gonna go do that. Uh, and this is that tungsten that I found. Put in the tungsten box. All right, let's go find a let's go find a probe. Oh. Well, I appreciate y'all all hanging out with me tonight. If you are watching and you're not following, please follow. We have a follower goal. We only have about four days left to hit it. And we need about... Uh, we need about 17 or so folks to hit that. So, I think. If I can count, I don't know. It's pretty close. The point is, I'd love for y'all to come hang out more. Uh, we do group therapy every Wednesday, which is a much more low-key show. Um, the rest of it is just absolutely ridiculous and terrible and amazing, and I love it. So, I know. I appreciate y'all. Very, very much. I just, listen, I have been looking forward to... Like, since I found out about it a few days ago, the um, Galastropod like all come together thing since I learned about it I have been waiting because like there was a part where the xenobiology lab started to sing at you and I'm like well this is going to become a thing and sure enough it did and it was incredible and I loved it Well, it's true. It's true. Tom Tom is Yeah, Tom is what well, what we like to call he's he's chuckle fuck supreme. Oh, we're almost here. I guess this is a moon, so it's a little bit smaller. Hey, look there it is. Hey, what is this? What's This is New Horizons. Story of a girl. Look at that. It's a probe. Hi there, little probe. Go watch you some Bridgerton. Text me in the morning. Let me know you're okay. Was there a loaf? Perino, where's the loaf? Where's the loaf? Loaf, hello. Hello. No. Hello. Where's that loaf? She's out there somewhere. Bean says she's hiding on the step. <gasps> There's a no. pick her up I go scoop the cat and I pick her up and then she meows me house she sit in what you doing loaf what you doing baby There she is. Hello. Oh, she's in the chair. Oh, is she cinnamon rolling? Oh my goodness. Loafed up. Loaf, what are you doing? I really need to get working on the loaf cam. Sure do, bud. She did lots of that earlier, Allie Beth. So many nibbles. The heckin' monch. 
Oh hey, I have a dynamite and there's an exocache here. Let's blow it the fuck up. Fire in the hole. Spicy hat. Oh god. I say spicy hat and Lolly starts having like flashbacks, like war flashbacks. A dog when you put the cupcakes in front of him. <laughs> That's exactly what just happened. Alright, we're almost back to base. So the video for nibbling on Yeah, she does that like she does it every single day, Breezy. Every day. Um, sometimes it doesn't always get so intense where like she grabs on and does the bunny feats and stuff. That was a very special one. And I was particularly chuffed by it. But the hell is this? Wait, what? What is this? Uh, what does it look like it is? It's the Apollo Lunar Module. Um. I mean, it looks like it. And I mean, we found Sputnik earlier, so like all the and we found the New Horizons probe, so I like all the probes so far have been all the probes and satellites have been like okay, actual dollars, Earth ones. Wait. Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. CSM Act. Raj, CSM Act. CSM. Raj, CSM. Oh my oh god. Oh my god. It has actual Apollo recordings in the game. That's so cool. Columbia, Houston, we're standing by over. I gotta stand here for a second, like. This is so fucking you know, cool. Got the dump well, you come, I don't think the high gain's gonna switch in there. We'll skip the dump. Okay. Skipping dump. Don't lose that data. AOS Lem. Roger, AOS Lem. Flight Telcom Lem, low bit rate. Roger, low bit rate. We are at attitude. Low bit rate, in attitude. Well, 
flight control. Go control. She go. She go. Okay, guidance, I assume you're standing by for the burn report. Standing by that in the sunshine. Roger. Flight control, we're at the burn attitude. Roger. Like it's Here's the Eagle, how do you read? Bye bye, Eagle, we're standing by for your burn report, over. Like, I don't want to walk the away. Was on time. Don't Thursday walk away Eagle yet. Before nulling, minus point one, minus point four, minus point one, X and Z null to zero. We've lost data of flight, they're probably going stable. Hello, it's Madrid land. Raj. This is so amazing. Yeah, these are, this is really cool. Ian, are you hearing this? Are you watching? Huh? Go fly. You need your axe residuals also, don't you? I'm I didn't so get the axe. Like, I don't think you get the main planet where I saw her. Looked real good. P63. And I had it. Right. 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 Eagle, Houston, did you call? AOS land. Raj, AOS land. Looks good, Floyd. Raj. This is Eagle, incredible. Houston, uh, are you an Eagle? What do you need now? Raj, bye bye, Neil. Uh, we copied up to the AGS residuals. Would you please repeat the AGS residuals in the trim? Uh, correction to sun check, over. Roger, AGS residuals, minus point one. Minus point two, minus point seven, and we use the things noun eighty six for delta B Z, which is nine point five, versus yours, which is nine point one, and I believe that may explain the difference. Uh, apogee uh, fifty seven point two, uh, Paraloon uh, nine point one, Sun check uh, the three marks, noun twenty minus noun twenty two. Plus point one nine plus point one six plus point one one. Over. Right, copy. Thank you. Looks great. Primitive, let's go. Okay. Okay, we're off to a good start, Blade. Cool. I'm looking through the, the transcript now to see if I can see where we are. This is, it's not actual space footage. This is the actual, these are the audio recordings from what I'm assuming is the Apollo 11 mission. So like, this is, this is the actual record. Yeah, yeah. This is the, uh, this is the actual recordings from the Apollo 11 mission. Cause this is. Procedures from flight where you make sure the doors get secured now, please. Cause this is the Apollo, this is the Eagle, the, the, the Apollo lunar module. Yeah, yeah, paint. Procedures in flight. Go ahead. Will you secure the doors? Measure. All right. I'm maybe I'm looking at the wrong. Flight network data from Goldstone is from the two ten foot dish. Raj two ten. Flight guide. Go guide. Did you get uh, his TIG is real good in P63? Seven hundredths of a second above us. Roger. Flight telecom. Go telecom. We've lost data for some reason. Uh, I still think we may be locking up on a side low. Roger. Maybe paint. I think so. Network flat. Flat network. See if we can get that squared away, Roger. please.
Flight Network. We have Ghost on the Madrid boat and we signal strength. Roger. Capcom, do you want to have the spacecraft fly and reacquire us? Roger. Roger. Okay, go ahead, Capcom. Ice Bear needs it for everyday hustling. Karen, thank you for gifting that sub to Breezy. I appreciate you. This shit is so cool. Isn't this amazing? Okay, all flight controllers, keep watching your date. I'm still going to be asking for a go no go here in about four minutes. Can you tell if we're on the main lobe now, Telcom? Say again? How does the signal strength look? Uh, it's running about 0.88. It's higher than it has been. Eagle Houston, uh, we have you now. Do you read over? Loud and clear. Okay, Roger, we see your uh, VERT 47. Tags, initialization and alignment. Standing by flight. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what the problem was there. Uh, it just started oscillating around uh, in yaw. According to the needle, we, we're picking up a little oscillation right now, as a matter of fact. Uh, Roger, we'll work on it. Wow. Flight telecom, I think this is probably the Yeah, this is, yeah, this is in the game, Karen. So like Roger. in the game, I am I am sitting next to I mean the That's affirmative. We did buzz out. See if we can get this uh, alignment and initialization in, men. Okay, I found where I am in the transcript. We're almost there. Flight Fado. How are you doing and how can I have your digitals? Okay, they'll be up in a minute. Flight machines are going to power decent. No. Roger. Digitals channel 22. 22. Thank you. Our radar checks indicate uh, 50,000 foot barrel in our visual altitude uh, checks are steady and out at about 53,000. Uh, Roger, copy. Copy, Fido. Fido, copies. Hey, a flight uh, suggestion. Uh, would uh, a little y'all help this uh, high gain in? Or steerable? What do you think, Don? Sure would, flight. How much? Which direction? <laughs> yes, by? very, yes. And uh, Houston, we got a 500 alarm. Yeah, uh, something like that paint, the program, yeah. Went to uh, descent one, proceeded on it, and we're back at uh, auto again. Over. Roger, we saw that buzz. Thank you much, Al. 10 degrees right, flag. Uh, I think, you know. Roger. Okay, that wasn't an alarm. That was a code, okay. Roger, we saw that. You want them to roll about 10 degrees right? The yaw, 10 degrees. Yaw, yaw. Roger. 
Okay, I'll flag them. Eagle colors, Houston, about 40 uh, we recommend to the uh, you y'all 10 right will help us on the uh, high gain signal strength. Over. So I'm on the transcript of the. Okay, all flight controllers gonna go for power descent. Retro. Go. Fido. Go. Guidance. Go. Control. Go. Telcom. Go. GNC. Go. Ecom. Go. Surgeon. Go. Capcom. We're go for power descent. Oh my God. Eagle Houston, if you read your go for power descent, over. This is wild. This is so cool. Like they put this in the game. They put this in the game. Eagle Eagle Columbia. Columbia. Data again, dropping in and out. Eagle Eagle Columbia. Right, we read you. Okay. Down I'm down following along with the transcript. So Eagle if you read you now, your go for PDI over. Here's a here's a searchable transcript. If you go to I'm not even kidding. In the PDF it's page two forty eight, but it's listed as it's like annotated on the page is two forty six because there's like two cover pages. We're at the bottom of that page. And then good control. And off. Align must go, Capcom. Symbol enable. Page scale twenty five. Eagle Houston, your lineman is going the eggs. This is so Omar wild. Mark three thirty till ignition. Roger. Okay, we're at the Lights top of the next page now. Clear is go. Mark three thirty till ignition. Number two forty seven, actual two forty nine. Roger copy. I haven't like I haven't listened to it in its entirety before, Karen. Not not at like highlights. Yes, the, like the actual detail. No. Abort, abort, stage reset. At control, three of the most control. Okay, full is set. Tags is reading 400 plus one. Stand and by for army. I'm just like, I'm in awe that they put this in the game. Like, they took the time and the effort to build the model and put this into the game. Arm D. 
defense. We're not going to have time to get there. Okay, I'll flight controllers, 30 seconds to ignition. We're not going to have time to get to the actual landing. Oh. Negative, not yet, stand by. Bob, you're on the loop. We still have several pages to, of transcript before we get there. Oh. Like, this is so cool, though. Python. Dips arm. Raj, dips arm. Alex. One. Zero. Ten percent. Ten percent TCP. Raj, ten percent. Take another picture. Some of the trail mix. Thanks, Breezy. I know, Karen. I know, me too. Me too. Lights matter. We've lost Miss Finn. Roger, you've lost Miss Finn. Okay, we're in the guns. Okay, the turn on. We're at 20 foot per second residual. That is probably due to down track air. I'll leave it Raj, through. Three foot through residual it. due to down track air. I think. And it was in radio. I got good we signal. have data flight. Flight side of Eagle, we got you now. It's looking Raj, good, over. GTC, go. Flight control, we're go. FTP looks good. Roger. Hey, Eagle, looks good. Eagle, Houston, everything's looking good here, over. Roger, copy. Eagle, Houston, after yaw around, angles, uh, S band pitch, minus niner, yaw, plus one eight. Flight fighter, we have negative misfin. Raj, negative misfin. You got Doppler? Copy. Fighter, what data do you have? Things and eggs and Doppler flight. Raj. Go. Restarting misfin now. Raj, how's the Doppler looking? Looks good, flight. Raj. Eggs and things agree very closely. Roger. Dips thrust 9820. Raj, thrust 9820. Copy, flight. Data solid. How are you looking, guidance? Hanging out at 20 foot per second. Looks good. Altitude Raj. a little high. No change is what you're saying. No change. That's down track. I know it. Raj. Flight Fido. Go Fido. We've reinitialized the filter. We do have an altitude difference. Raj. Flight fighter, GTC is right on the uh, nominal. Roger, GTC nominal. And the uh, AC uh, voltage now. Roger. Just the uh, meter, maybe, huh? It's okay, flight. Stand by. Okay. okay. It's looking good to us. You're still looking good. It's three, coming up three minutes. Okay, control, let me know when he starts his yaw here. Roger. How's your misfit looking now, uh, Fido? Flight fighter, we do have the Indeed. altitude. Okay. Here we go. Okay, how about you guys? Hold to that 18 foot, we're going to make it a thing. Our Roger. position check downrange to us to be a little off. Roger, copy. We're in the middle of page 250 right now, the transcript. We confirm that. We still have about another two and a half pages to go. Flight controllers, 30 seconds to next go, no go. I really want to continue listening to this, but. I don't know if I'm going to ha be able to. Okay, I'll flight controllers. I'm going around the horn. I think it's going to Make drop. your go-no-goes based on the data you had prior to LOS. I see we got it back. Give you another few seconds. We're going, flying. Okay, retro. Go. Fido. Go. Guide. Go. Control. Go. Telcom. Go. Jinsei. Go. Ecom. Go. Surgeon. Go. Capcom. We're go to continue PDI. Eagle, Houston, you're a go. Too bad thing at all. At uh, four minutes. Get that Telcom. Eagle, that's go. You're a go. 
Cooper. Roger, you go to continue power descent. You're a go to continue power descent. Okay, everybody, let's Roger. take time. Look for landing radar. What, guns? No guidance. We'll need that landing radar by 18,000. And Eagle Houston, we got Roger. data dropout. You're still looking good. On the ping. Roger, I copy guidance. Okay. Flight looks good. Raj. 2,000 feet. Raj. 2,000 foot Delta H. We got good lock on. Let me know when he accepts it, guys. Uh, Roger. Altitude lights out. Delta H is minus 2,900. I don't know if we can Roger, we pick up here. Radar I don't know. Um. Houston, you're looking at our Delta H. Raj. Looks good. Uh, that's Flight. Looks good. Looking is he good accepting his guidance? The 12.02. 12.02. Looks like it's converging. Also, hi, Nova. 12.02 we... alarm. The game, the game is playing the Apollo yeah, 11 transcripts. It's playing, right, like, the recordings from the Apollo 11 mission. It's kind of wild. We're going that alarm. Roger, we got you. We're going that alarm. Roger. He's taking in a Delta H now. Roger. I'm just like... Roger. Did you get the throttle down? Six I love you, Nova. Throttle down. Six plus two five. Throttle down. Flight Fido converging on Delta Roger, H. Roger. Six plus two five. Flight control. We have velocity. Roger. 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 Same alarm, and it appears to come up when we have a sixteen sixty eight up. Roger. Copy. Okay, we'll cut, we'll monitor his Delta H flight. Roger. I think that's when he's getting it. Okay. Eagle Houston, we'll monitor and, your Delta H. Roger. Delta H is beautiful. Delta Roger, H is looking good now. Roger, Delta H is looking okay, good now. Okay, all flight controller is hanging tight. Should be throttling down pretty uh, shortly. Throttle down on time. Roger, you can throttle down. Head of the simulator. Roger. We are in the uh, middle good. of... We are like Light about... Things a, look real close. Uh, you want him to stay out of 68? Uh, negative flight. Uh, I just said we'll monitor the alarms. We're right around... Okay. okay. Close to the Black middle of page go. 249, Black Black number 249, down. actual 251 in the PDF. The here and we can monitor Delta H. Raj. Flight Fido looking go real back. good. Raj, Fido, good. At seven minutes, you're looking great to us, Eagle. Telcom, how are you looking? Okay, I'm good still on through, uh, so we may tend to lose as we gradually pitch over. Let me try auto again now, see what happens. I'm going to try the stirrup again, Copy, Floyd. Okay, looks like it's holding. Roger, we got good data. We on steerable down? That's a birdie flight, and it's holding in there pretty good. Raj. Okay, everybody, hang tight. Seven and a half minutes. Flight guns, this landing radar is fixed. The velocity is beautiful. Raj. Flight control, Go descent control. to fuel. Descent to fuel, crit. Descent to fuel only. Fuck it, folks. We're hanging out. We're we're so close to the, to this Raj. landing. Descent to fuel. We're staying here for the Eagle landing. Houston, it's descent to fuel to monitor over. Sound two. I think they good. did, Nova. Roger. I think they did. Give us an estimated uh, switch over time, please, Houston. Roger, stand by. You're looking great at eight minutes. Got an estimated, uh, what's our T go, guidance? 30 Seven, seconds, uh, P64. Roger, about 30 seconds. Eagle, well, With very minimal delay. Okay, we still got Perfect. landing radar guidance. Confirm. Okay. Is it confirmed? Yeah, with minus the delay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Flight fighter. But I mean, aside from the delay, Roger, it was final. real time. Eagle Houston coming up 8.30, you're looking great. P-64. Okay, they got 64. We copy. T-Go's good. Raj, T-Go's go. We have position 2 on the LR. Raj, position 2, all flight controllers, 20 seconds to go, no go for landing. Eagle, you're looking great. Coming up 9 minutes. Folks, we're almost there. Okay, all flight controllers, go, no, go for landing. Retro. Go. Fido. Go. Guidance. Go. Control. Go. Telcom. Go. 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 Capcom, we're go for landing. Eagle, Houston, you're a go for landing. Over. I do understand. Go for landing. 3,000 feet. We, we've Come gone down, down a little bit. We're almost there, folks. 1201. 1201. Roger. 
1201 alarm. Same again. type, we're go, flight. Okay, we're go. We're go, same type, we're go. Flight side or right on, real good, Roger. 2,000 feet, 2,000 feet, into the ag, 47 degrees, Roger. Pretty much, Nova, pretty, pretty much. Roger, looking, Bob. It looks okay, we're okay. about four and a half, Roger. Eagle looking great, you're go. They did, they also, they did have video, yep. Looks good. Roger. Roger, 1202, we copy it. How you doing, Control? Pretty by degrees. We look good here, fine. Roger, how about you, Telcom? Go, guys, you have me? Go, Fido, go. 700 feet, 21 down, 33 degrees. 100 feet, down at 19. 540 feet, down at 30, down at 15. Attitude hold? Okay, at hold. I think we better be quiet, fine. Roger. 400 feet down at 9. Okay, the only call outs from now on will be fuel. Gate forward. 10 and 50 feet down at 4. P60. 30, rip the half down. They're, uh, pegged on, uh, horizontal velocity. 300 feet down, 3 and a half. 47. I mean, this forward. is, this is truly wild stuff. Put up. On 1 and a minute. 1 and a half down. We're almost there. 70. Got the shadow out there. 50 down at 2 and a half. 19 forward. Okay, Bob, I'll be standing Bob by for your call out shortly. Light. 3 and a half down. 220 feet. 13 forward. 11 forward, coming down nicely. 200 feet. 4 and a half down. Five and a half pounds. 166 and a half down. Five and a half down. Nine forward. Low level? Low level. That's good. And 20 feet. 100 feet, three and a half down. Nine forward. Five percent. 185. Okay, 75 feet. That's looking good, 60. down a half. Roger. 60. 60 seconds. 60 seconds. Lights on. Six. Down two and a half. Forward. Forward. Good. 40 feet down, two and a half. Picking up some dust. Oh my 30 God. feet, two and a half down. Great shadow. This down is it. Four forward. This is, this is the money shot. The right 30, 30 seconds. And a half. 30 seconds. Forward, just good. Okay. Contact light. Okay, engine stop. APA at a descent. Boat control, both auto, descent engine command override off. Engine arm off. 413 is in. We've had shut down. We copy you down, Eagle. Okay, everybody, T1, stand by for T1. Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. Roger, Twain. Wow. We copy you on the ground. You got a bunch of guys about to turn blue. We're breathing again. Thanks a lot. Thank you. You're looking good here. Okay, we're going to be busy for a minute. Master Armand, take care of the defense. Wow. Okay, controller is about 45 seconds. The T1, stay no stay. Flight, that 114 plus 2 looks beautiful. Roger. Very smooth touchdown. Wow. Okay, keep the chatter down in this room. Pyro's are on, buddy. Roger. Okay. That's okay, incredible. T1, stay no stay. Retro. That is incredible. Stay. Stay. Guidance. Stay. Control. Stay. Telcom. Stay. GNC. Stay. Ecom. Stay. Surgeon. Stay. Capcom or stay for T1. Yeah. Stay. Keep the chatter down in this room. Roger, Eagle, and you are stay right. for T1. Go, go control. Over. Eagle, you are on. stay for T1. Venting on. Roger. And we stand stay for T1. Roger, and we see you venting the ox. Wow. Roger. Roger. Thank <laughs> you.
Absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. Just the game. It's play. It was playing in game Nova, so there are there are probes. There are seven planets. Well, five planets and two moons uh, in this system, in the solar system, in the game, and. Um, there's a probe on every planet that you have to find. I, no, no, Pain. I'm, thank y'all for hanging out for it. Um, and there's a probe on every planet, and each one of the... Like, you go and find this old derelict probe, and it turns out it's a, some kind of satellite or probe from Earth. Um, so, like, one of them was Sputnik. Um, uh, one of them was one of the Voyager crafts. Um, and... I went and found the one on... So this is the, the main planet that you start on. Um, and it's very Earth-like in nature. Um, and so the moon of this planet... I was coming back from finding the probe on that moon. And we just happened across the Eagle module from the Apollo 11 mission. We just happened across it. And so... I stopped for a second to check it out and look at like the in-game model that they made for it. And as I was sitting there, and you can take pictures with it, um, the the recording started to play back. Like they added them into the game so that you could listen along with the mission. It was just that was not. I did not expect that to happen tonight. I, this is, this is all I expected. Sylvie, play us out. What? That's the way you finish. That's the way you end. <sighs> what a night. What an incredible night. Um, wow. And Loaf is asleep in the He was asleep. She's laying in the chair. We got to listen to the Apollo 11 moon landing in the game, which is just... Ah. I got nothing. I got nothing. Um, thank you all for hanging out. It was absolutely fantastic. Love, go see Bean. Bean's looking for you. Bean's calling Love and Love's, Love's like, what? What do you want? I'm sleeping. I'm she, doing loaf things. She's, she's being very sleepy. Yeah. Um, this this really was. This really was, Pern. Um, thank you all again for hanging out. I know I, I ran a little late, so thanks to Bean for being a good sport. And uh, let's get out of here. Um, Breezy, I'm actually going to... We're going to raid our good buddy Fire, because we haven't raided him in, in a little bit, so... We're going to go see Fire tonight. We give him lots of love. He is a fellow Admiral's Fleet Captain. Um, 
go see all of our our team members there um but thank you all again um and we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and get out of here so let's go give fire some love i'll see y'all on friday for nova's pick turnip boy commits tax evasion i love you bye